Learn English Online is a course where participants, both teachers and students of English as a second and foreign language, learn about but also actively participate in the course content with each other and of course with the instructor, Dr. Nellie Deutsch. And here's a little bit about the highlights of the course. The course is one dollar, which is um, not very much for most people around the world. The course highlights are, and I'd like you to notice, to develop communicative skills. Now, communicative skills are both speaking, writing, and in some cases, reading and listening. Because when you listen, you're actually communicating with the person who's speaking. And when you're reading, you're communicating with the person who has written the text. All right. You'll also be able to practice English language skills. So you not only develop these skills, you practice them. As you practice online, you gain confidence in speaking and writing and both in your reading and listening abilities. You improve your written grammar, and lastly, you have fun. Now, this is really, really important. You will learn about WizIQ in the live on the online class, about screen sharing tools, and how you can connect. And let me take you to the course where. All right, throughout the, uh, the class, you will be taking live classes whether live or watching the recordings. You'll get YouTube videos to watch and reflect on in the course feed, which is right here. This is where you add your comments. In addition, you'll be able to not only participate, but also engage others, whether in the course or outside the course. Notice in weeks one to four, participants engage in reading and listening, and they practice as they learn grammar through watching TV, movies, and online, and so on. In um, weeks five to eight, this is where you engage in Google Drive and screen sharing tools, and you create your own artifacts, or what's called open education resources and in a general it's where you are actively engaged in what you had learned in weeks one to four in weeks nine to twelve you will engage in sharing your work okay throughout the internet so let's go back to this week okay this week's class this week's class is about sharing a Google presentation. This is where participants will be able to add to the document. Last week you added to a Word document, text document. This week you're going to be adding to this presentation. The presentation is about open education. Feel free to add as you go. Okay, you may add to each of these slides. You can add images by accessing, and let me show you where. You can add images by going into insert. Okay, so let's do that now. We'll go into insert and see what we can insert. You can insert text, not only image, but uh, you can insert an image, text, and so on. You can also insert things here. Here's the text and the image. All right, so you're highly recommended to do that. You can leave the theme as it is in the layout for now, but you're also able to change all that. All right, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this changes, and I'm sure you are too. You can add comments to the document. There's a comment box here. In addition, you can see how this looks when you present it in full screen. Take a look at the other icons here. You can also insert comments from here. And, of course, save the file. So let, let's do that now. Let's go into comments from both ends. Okay, the comments here. I've added a comment. My comment is, please add to the collaborative 
presentation. You can ask questions here and so on. But before you do anything, please go into notification settings. It's at the top right. And make sure that it all the buttons are ticked off. So let's see, all the boxes are ticked off. Okay, except for the first one. Uh, don't send me, but all the others. Enable email notifications so you can be notified whenever somebody makes a change or I add a comment. Let's look at the other area where you can add comments. It's the insert. So we'll click on insert and then uh, go into comment. Okay, that's further down. You can also add word art. Okay, all these things you can add to the document. Okay, so here I can also add please um, ask questions as you go. Questions as you go. All right, and I'll click on comment and there it is. Notice now you'll see it here as well. Okay. Please ask questions as you go. Okay. It actually appears in the same places, but you can do it from different area, top right, or in the insert. And that's it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how you develop. Just don't be afraid. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, we can always go back in history. You can always delete what you don't like. By going into file, I can go into history and see... Uh, was done whatever and if I don't like what's there I can always make a change so see revision history I click on that and then I'll see uh, okay only I've been here so only I've made the changes and that's it so um, collaborative learning is very very important because it's a chance for us to connect for learning um, I hope you'll join open education week which is starting March 11 on WizIQ. IQ And here's more about the uh, the week course. It's not only about open education in the United States, it's about open education in the world. And um, here's about the course. Okay, you'll learn about education resources and creative summons. You'll also be able to hear me talk about my experiences with open educational resources. So, see you next week. Bye for now.